Uh, I can't comment on it at this time beyond what I'm about to say. Yes, there was an incident backstage uh, before we went live on tonight's show. We are investigating it until I learn more about what happened. I can't really address it at this time, so I can't comment, but I did want to be honest with you and tell you that is the case. Well, it seems like there has been another issue at another AEW event. And this time it involves CM Punk, but not the elite, not Kenny Omega, not the Young Bucks, not Adam Page. Uh, it involves Jack Perry this time, of all people. It involves Jack Perry, man. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the AEW uh, All In live stream yesterday. I did on my personal page. I appreciate everyone that showed up. Um, we were getting these reports live during the show and we actually went over and and checked out some sources talking about it but for those who did miss it cm punk got into it with jack perry now you're probably asking damn man it seems like cm punk stays getting into it with individuals especially after a big pay-per-view events and maybe you know you have a fair point there but we're gonna get into some of the details that have been rumored i know some people were saying oh you know this didn't happen this is just a rumor someone's trying to spark up something well i had to show that clip of tony khan seemingly saying something did happen but he didn't really want to go into details as he's trying to figure out more information or didn't want to kind of distract uh from what they had just accomplished at all in in the media scrum which I completely understand, but we're going to get right into this one, man. This is uh, an interesting one. This is by uh, PW uh, Torch. Uh, details emerge on CM Punk and Jack Perry's backstage altercation with multiple versions. So, details are emerging of an altercation between Jack Perry and CM Punk backstage at all, uh, all in after uh, Perry's match and right before Punk's match. Perry had antagonized Punk during his pre-show match against Hook when he looked at the camera and made a reference to the dispute the two had earlier this summer. Perry had wanted to use real glass in an angle, and Punk didn't want that done on Collision. Punk has creative influence on on the Collision product, along with other uh, along with other like minded wrestlers and felt it was gratuitous and needlessly dangerous reports say punk accused perry of wanting to suffer legit cuts to uh to he could uh i think i think they meant to say so he could uh take uh the next uh week off perry referred to the incident during a fight with hook on a limousine perry yelled into the camera you know what uh you know what this is uh you know what this is here real glass go cry me a river hook ended up slamming perry through the windshield with a fisherman uh buster backstage punk confronted perry as punk headed to the entrance area for his match our sources indicating punk got in uh perry's face and asked if they had a problem uh as words were exchanged punk pie face perry and then restrained uh, him uh in a in a face lock and threw some punches at him before he was pulled off a fifo select report says one side of the, of the story said perry approached punk uh backstage first bumped him in the chest put punk in a choke before it was uh, uh put punk in a choke before it was broken up uh a pw uh insider elite report says punk went after perry and even hit perry but said versions of the stories vary at this point which obviously it probably will the stories don't uh differ greatly in terms of what happened other than who escalated the matters first but as more eyewitnesses accounts emerge there might be some clarity to the nuances of who initiated the altercation we've also heard in the incident uh nearly caused a delay in the start of the opening match as the production crew was scrambling uh to find a way to fill time if punk was able uh wasn't able to go out on time pw torch uh, has learned both wrestlers have left the building perry was asked to leave first because his match was over first punk left after his match but if 
uh, he was going to be a part of the post-match angle with his real world title belt, he might return. PW Torch reported details earlier this morning on Punk's similar uh, re uh, reaction to inflammatory comments made by Ryan Nemeth on Twitter. So, pretty much there was a uh, uh, a brouhaha, uh, a, uh, a scuffle of sorts as CM Punk was heading out to the ring to have his match with Samoa Joe or whatnot. He saw Jack Perry. They had their little back and forth reports. Some reports are saying, I know the report we read yesterday was saying uh, CM Punk had Jack Perry in a chokehold. And in this report, it's saying that um, Jack Perry had CM Punk in a chokehold. But there was some altercation. Now, like I said, it seems as if wherever CM Punk goes, there's some type of issues. But I will say this, despite their altercation, I am in agreement with CM Punk on the fact that you don't need to hurt yourself to write yourself off te television. Using real glass is dangerous. It's, it's dangerous. Like it... For those who don't know, I believe they use like sugar glass, sugar glass of some sort. But use some events, you know, some backyard wrestling events. They like to use real glass. I want you to understand, using real glass is very dangerous, and you can seriously hurt yourself. There's no point of putting yourself through a car windshield using some real glass or whatever the case, so you can write yourself off TV when you may end up writing yourself off more than just a week. A television or two weeks you may be writing yourself off permanently you can really do some serious damage you guys seen the infamous goldberg clip where he punched a hole in uh i think it was like a limousine or whatnot with his bare hands or whatnot he punched a hole right through it after that after they cut the cameras they had to take this man to the hospital because he was bleeding profusely he had cut he had cut himself so deep he was bleeding profusely they had to take him to the hospital those this is why they don't use real glass because it's very very dangerous so i'm in agreement with cm punk here there's no need to do that you don't have to fly through real glass to you know sell a storyline i do agree with that now of course jack perry being you know young or whatnot and, and saying what he said on camera to take a shot at cm punk obviously you definitely didn't need to do that because CM Punk is not the type to shy away from any controversy. And he addressed it right before he went to his match. Some could say he CM Punk should have just let it go, but that's never been him. So you can say maybe CM Punk should have been a bigger man and let it go. You can say that. But also Jack Perry should understand it wasn't to stifle his creativ uh, creativity. It's to protect him. So I, once again, you you sitting up there trying to hurt yourself you know to entertain us is like you don't have to you know not in that particular situation so i get what cm punk was trying to do trying to protect the guy but jack perry is like hey let me do it this way and felt some type of way he wasn't able to do it so he ended up doing it anyway on the show and kind of sent the shot at cm punk cm punk is not the one to shy away from it and said fuck it what's up Let's 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 have a pre-match before the, my real match, you know. Um, but the real culprit of this situation is Tony Khan. He's the real culprit because he needs to get a hold of the ship. There's too many captains and not enough people running. Like everybody wants to run the ship. Everybody wants to be a captain. Some people got to work. Some people got to be a part of the crew. And he has too many people running things or think they're running things and it's causing conflict he needs to get everybody under one accord it needs to be a situation of hey if you do not listen to me i will suspend you i won't even fire you i'll suspend you because he doesn't obviously want the pe uh, people going to the other competition which is wwe but he needs to do something or maybe if he needs to fire them don't pay people to sit up there you know what i'm saying you've given out free money I don't know what to say, but he needs to get a get a hold of everything that's going on, especially locker room wise, because we've heard too many instances where there's something going on in the locker room that's taken away from what's happening on the show. People were talking about this during the show. 
when they should be focusing on what's happening on the show so tony khan needs to get his shit together he needs to be a boss first not these guys friends you need to there needs to be some dis disciplinary actions if someone's crossing the line that your, your talent shouldn't be out there fighting before they get to the actual match <laughs> you know what i'm saying your talent should be fighting in the ring not backstage with each other unless it's a part of an angle so he needs to do something because i'm gonna be honest with you we a lot of us may not be the biggest fan biggest fan of how vince has booked shows over the past <laughs> 10 plus years may not have been the biggest fans of his create creative mind but the one thing we can't really say is vince having people in the back just running running him over going crazy doing whatever they want we it's rare that you hear stories about shit happening in in the gorilla position where vince mcmahon doesn't have control over it and if you do hear some stories about that best believe it was taken care of swiftly you don't hear stuff about that in wwe because whether you like vince or not it's his sh it's his show and he will let you know either you do it this way or you out i'm not even about to not only i'm not even gonna feature you on television i may job you out I, I may make sure that no one wants to even hire you. I'll do whatever I can. That's how Vince is. So I'm not saying Tony Khan has to be like that, but he needs to be a little bit more heavy-handed on making sure the talent is supposed to do what they're supposed to do. If CM Punk has creative control, it's like, nah, don't do that. Don't go out there weeks later and still do it anyway because you know that's going to cause some conflict. You need to... If someone says, hey, this, this is what we're trying to do, have that discussion go from there but don't be sitting up there trying to you know would allow other situations other problems to arise because tony khan he just kind of lets things happen he needs to be needs to be really strict on what's going on what's happening on these shows what pieces are moving what should be done what shouldn't be done none of this oh you know we're gonna let some of the wrestlers take care of it no no you need to be involved because if he was more involved and and maybe had, I don't know, maybe said something about this. Like, hey, CM Punk said, we're not doing this. Don't do this. Jack Perry can been upset about it, but the boss is saying it now. Something. Or, hey, none of this, none of this back and forth stuff. None of this taking shots live on camera. We're not doing this. No more of this. Something. He needs to do something. Instead of at the every media scrum you know looking like a lost dog so comment down below let me know if you if these altercations and and rumors are true and it seems like it may be who do you feel like is in the right do you feel like cm punk is in the right for saying hey we're not doing this jack perry do you feel like jack perry is in the right for how he feels and uh you know do y'all feel like tony khan needs to step up as the boss and get his wrestlers under control let me know down below, but I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.